Donkey! What are you doing with that racist? Hello, everybody. My name is Benjamin. It's <coughs> <coughs> uh, that was weird. Welcome back to Benjamin, it's my name's Benjamin, and let's chat for a minute. I want you to ask yourself, what is the best bad idea you've ever had? Seriously, try to think of the best one that you can. And then hang your head in shame because it's not as good as Donald Trump erotic fanfiction. Namely, homosexual erotic fanfiction. Yes. It exists. I first discovered the author Elijah Daniel on Twitter because of his tattoo of Trump sucking a dick, which is hands down the best introduction I've ever gotten to anyone ever. He wrote Trump Temptations when drunk, so you know it's gonna be good, and it's apparently being made into a full-blown movie now. God, this election is wild. I feel like I'm gonna get motion sickness from this shit. So the Trump birthday was this Tuesday. Shit, this probably would've been a lot more fitting as the Tuesday video. So today I'm gonna be doing my best to do a dramatic reading of these lustful four chapters. I'm only gonna show highlights though because I don't wanna spoil everything. If you wanna read the whole thing, you should really go buy the book. It's on Amazon and it's only $2. Wish me luck and without further ado, Trump Temptations, The Billionaire and the Bellboy. <laughs> It all started in one fateful afternoon in summer of 2012. I was working as a bellboy in the Trump Hotel in Hong Kong on an internship, but little did I know it was all about to change. I was stacking somebody's tacky luggage when the door behind me swept open. My loins trembled as the scent of toupee adhesive and spray tan swept through my nasal cavity. I wanted nothing more than to turn around and see the golden god behind these scents, but I couldn't move. I was frozen. It was Donald. He stood there in front of me, like a tall stallion, with his oily orange skin glistening in the sunlight, as if he were a soggy Cheeto. Delicious. I need you to bring these bags up to my room, he said sternly, like a grandfather upset that a news broadcast interrupted Jeopardy. His voice wrapped around my body like Hazel around a smothered burrito. What? And that's what had happened. He looked back. He caught me staring at his donkey. Wait, what? Oh, donk. Donkey! What are you doing with that racist? He could have me immediately had me fi- Wait, what? He could have me immediately had me fired for this. Okay, but he didn't. Instead, he smiled and continued to hop on the elevator. Wait, can Donald Trump smile? I thought all he could do was that like weird face where he goes, I googled him on the train home. I wanted to know everything about him. His Wikipedia page says he's 69 years young. What a magical number. It also says that his nickname is The Donald, but I'm pretty sure they mean Daddy. <laughs> More like Granddaddy, Jesus fuck. Why did you ask me here? I said as I sat down. You know why I asked you here. He said, as he brushed his hand against my cheek, leaving a stream of self-tanner dripping down me. <laughs> I should tell you something, he breathed into my neck. Tell me later, I said as I reached for his pants. I unzipped his pants, and I touched his cold, scaly thighs. Wait, what? I opened my eyes as I grabbed his thick, long ta- Well, that certainly had a twist. Anyways, again, if you guys want to read the full story, you should pick it up on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go bleach my eyeballs. Will anybody ever love me the way Trump loves his bellboy? Whoa.